Okay, so here's my problem. I've got all these little sanding discs, different grids. Some are, uh, let's see. Some are 120, some are 60 grits. Some are 240. I got a bunch of these, okay? But here's my problem. This thing. Now, does anyone have a solution to this crap? You know? I mean, there's gotta be, try to get one out or try to put one on. You know, okay, this is loose already. See, and the rubbers, what happens is the rubbers get hot and then you can't get them off, you can't get them on. Here's what's left of one. Let's see, what's, oh, there's one right here. This is what's left of one, okay? That suck or what? I mean, come on, somebody, we can go to Mars, but somebody can't come up with a solution to this stuff, to this, <laughs> this problem? I mean, this is the only one I've got left. And I'm sure if I pull it out, the rubber's all messed up. You can't get it out. I mean, I'll put the screw out. I don't think the screw does a whole lot anymore because now it's, it's supposed to squeeze it tight. Oh, uh, look, that's what happens. Now the rubber's inside, right? So let's get that out of there if we can. This is a pain in the butt. I can't even push it out. We're trying to push it out. There it comes, maybe. But you know it's all messed up. So I go to reuse it. And what's going to happen? Right? There it is. Okay. This screw won't do any good now because the rubber is below. Sorry. The rubber is below the surface area where the screw would normally Dang it, I can't get the screw out now. Let me see if I can put the screw back in. Show you. There we go. Okay, look. I mean, the surface area, see where the gap is? Normally, the screw would push the rubber and expand the rubber to hold the little sanding discs, right? Well, I got two of them now. They're dead in the water. I don't have any more. But somebody has to come up with a solution. You know, why don't they do like they did with this? This is great here. You ever seen these? Yeah. These are great. You pull on this. Uh, you can see it. You pull on it. Well, it's usually it's in the tool. It's in the... And then you raise it and turn it and take it off. Okay, this is great for this. Works good. This is pretty much permanent. It's never going to wear out. But as far as these stupid things, you know, if somebody has a solution or somebody knows where to buy something permanent where I can reuse it, easy on, easy off, I'm not asking for much. I just want this to work for me. I'm always using the smaller one because I'm always in tight little spaces. And this one's okay, but it's the same thing with these, you know, the bigger ones. These are half inch, I think. You know, if I go and pull this out, watch, I'll pull it out. If it's doable. Loosen the screw. It's supposed to just slide off, right? Well, this one did. That's unusual, but then you're supposed to slide the next one on. They're hard to put on, but even that's worn out. See it? Well, they heat up when you use them, so and they screw up the rubber. So why don't they make something out of steel that, like, is spring-loaded and expands out when you tighten up the screw and it comes back down? when um when you whatever put the screw in screw out whatever but you know what i'm saying somebody has to have a solution for this these things 
hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So, this one's not too bad. But you can see there's a ridge at the end. I'm going to have a hell of a time putting on. See that? I'm going to have a hell of a time putting that on. It's tight, too. Okay, that's supposed to be loose, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, try to put this on. Yeah, right. I would have to sand that down or grind it down. I am fed up. All right, well, I vented enough. And uh, if you know of any suggest, if you have any suggestions, please comment. Please comment. Let's do something like this. Where it's easy on, easy off. Like I say, it's easier if you have it in the tool. You can push it, push the spring-loaded thing. I can't do it here because... Sorry, sorry, I'm not in the... Anyway, hold on. All right, see, now when it's in the tool, get this out of the way, you can easily pull on it. And then put this on here, okay? Then turn it to where you're the opposite. There we go, see? Now that's the way things should work. So, yeah. Again, please subscribe. And hopefully I'll get some comments on here that says, hey, buy this. I just hate it. I just hate it. Sorry I had to vent like this, but that's the way it is. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Let me see. I'll take a picture of this for the... There we go. All right. Bye-bye. Oh, subscribe and hit the bell.